Mr. Tom Dant, welcome to Sir Osman Football. Thank you. Who are you? Who am I? That's a good question. Um, no, uh, my name's Tom Dent. I'm 24 years old. Uh, I come from England, so slightly further east than Gary. Uh, over the last three years I've been working in Polo Football Club, both as a uh, youth coach and as a first team goalkeeper coach. Mm -hmm. Came from came to Norway three or four years ago? Right? Yeah, so I, the story began, I joined, I was at Fulham for three years when I was studying and uh, I met a Norwegian guy who lived in a place called Nuremberg by Oslo. Um, and he brought me over in 2011 to have a look around and we visited a lot of the top clubs around Oslo, so Lillestrøm, uh, Voringer, Starbeck, uh, and the last one we went to see was his local club, Follow. Uh, and we met Hans Erik and Axel Virgo, um, and they were the first people to ask about me and ask about who I was and why I was there and, and why I wanted to learn football like I did and what my ambitions were. Um, and we hold a very close uh, relationship. And then in 2012, I came and did a football school in Opegård. Uh, as far as I started a new academy under a guy called Hugo Pereira, who's now a player developer in Rosenborg. Um, and we had a cooperation then. And in 2012, late 2012, they began uh, a G14, 15, and 16 team. And I was lucky enough to be offered a position as a G14 coach, doing some academy work and working as a full time coach there. And then the first uh, player meeting or first coach meeting we had in 2013, um, Axel Berger asked me, oh, do you mind doing a couple of goalkeeper sessions with the first team, maybe once, twice a week? I was like, yeah, being 21 and thinking nothing to it. And uh, three months later, I was in charge of all the goalkeepers in the club and, and it's just grown from there. Um, mm. So Clearly, it's, you're not afraid of the challenges. No, uh, it's been. It's, I don't fear things. I always see things as a chance to learn. Uh, I don't know everything, and I won't know everything for many years up to come. So for me, every experience from now has, has been an experience, both by the language, the culture, the club, the football, everything. Mm. So this is just another chapter in that. Mm. Your uh, key moments, no key, <laughs> key focus areas as a coach. What would you? Uh, say that these are? Uh, the big thing I'll offer on a pitch is enthusiasm. Uh, I'm quite noisy, I'm quite loud, but I'm, I'm noisy in a way to give the players energy and create this environment where players want to play, players want to work as hard as they can and, and players want to do the best they can. Um, so mo my focus points is firstly to enjoy themselves because if you're playing under pressure or playing under stress then you can never play to the best you can. Um, I also quite like structure, but in a way where people know their roles and people also know other people's roles, so that if they need to change, they can do so. Um, and I quite like to find a, a happy medium between a, a relaxed manner with the players, but also a respect that players have between themselves and the coaches and also between the players themselves, so that, uh, as we said, the, the players can be the best person they can both on and off the pitch and allow her to do the things that they're good at doing. Because, especially in a club like this, they wouldn't be here if they weren't good at doing what they're here to do. Working alongside with Gary, uh, something you look forward to? Yeah, it's been something we've spoken about for quite a few, well, it's a couple of years now. Uh, we actually met uh, coaching each other. Uh, we were both the G15 coaches. Uh, he was for a local team, Opsar, and I was for Follow. Um, unfortunately, his team won 3 1 that day, but we won't talk about that. Um, but we had quite a big mutual respect straight from the start. Uh, we, we both had respect for each other, we both had respect for the way each other tried to play and the way we were with each other. Uh, and that relationship then just grown. So to be in a position now where we're, we're coming into a club working together and, and being able to build something is something that I'm really looking forward to doing actually. And also something to learn because he's got a lot more experience in the playing side than I ever have and will. So it's a good, uh, good opportunity for me to learn that side of the game as well. Mm. You, uh, contrary to Gary, you have, I guess, very little knowledge of our, of our players and uh, the area in terms of football and everything. So you have your eyes wide open and everything is... I think it's fair to say my Christmas has been cancelled because I have a bit of homework to do. But mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, my, my role in this 
relationship project, what call it what you wish, is is I'm a coach, mm. and coaching is something that uh, can be done with every ability, level, age, everything. So uh, it's something that I don't necessarily need to have the best knowledge of at this moment in time, but it is something that I'm going to very quickly try and get up to speed. Um, I've studied a lot more of the on the log area especially the last three months um, so I have a bit more of a background of, of players and, and their backgrounds and and uh, obviously I've, had, I've done a lot of research on Stuttgart's Blink the last few years so I know exactly the story there and I know the results I know the types of teams they've played and the performances they've had. But anyway we're uh, our focus is uh, forward not backward. No of uh, course but you need, uh, you need to know what foundations you have to work with uh, of course we, we want to come in and build on everything that's already happened we don't want to tear it up and start mm -hmm. again um, but you need to have some understanding of what's gone on before, so you can go for yeah. Otherwise, you can end up going in circles. Otherwise, so you will be here 100% uh, from uh, 1st of January or next. Yeah. Now, uh, as a joke, so although I'll be, uh, I'm away on a holiday from from Monday. My holiday is pretty much cancelled. So uh, I'll be working hard over the Christmas to get up to speed with everything I can and get everything in place as quickly as possible, yeah. ready for the 4th of January. Um, but I hope to be here the 2nd or 3rd of January to start work yeah. officially and, and hit the ground running. Tom Dent, you too. Welcome to Stills. Thank you very much.